Hi, yeah, uh, I'm gonna talk a bit about uh, yeah, how you can join the design team and uh, how you can help out apps, for example, like the audio player um, and also showcasing a bit uh, of the awesome work that our pretty cool design team has been doing. So um, let's start by saying, yeah, the general uh, philosophy of Nextcloud Design is we keep it very simple, we keep it streamlined and uh, yeah, make it usable for basically everyone. So it's very, very simplified, but um, yeah, that's basically the gist. You will see it through the examples that I'll show. And uh, if you want to get involved, there's basically three uh, labels that you can look at. One is the design label uh, that exists in their server repository and in many of the apps. And uh, yeah, it basically uh, covers all the different design, front end, uh, and all kinds of uh, UX, uh, UI uh, issues and, and features. So please take a look at that. Uh, and also, yeah, um, if you want to get involved, take a look at some of the issues labeled design, and uh, that's a good place to get started. And for apps, like if you're an app developer, please add the design label to your issue tracker and just tag design issues as design so that people can see that uh, design help is needed, for example. The second one uh, that we introduced like a year ago um, and uh, was inspired by, uh, I think, by Ubuntu paper cuts uh, or by GNOME also, uh, 100 paper cuts uh, is uh, a paper cut issue is uh, yeah, a very, very small issue, but uh, which, is, which is easy to fix and has a, has a big impact on the user experience. So that's like a, another special uh, label if you, if you want to uh, check out and yeah, polish the details, that's basically uh, what you can look at. And the uh, last one, but uh, very important, is starter issue. So that's not only for design, but for any issue in general. If you want to get started, it's a, yeah, that's the starter issues. So it's like quite easy issues to fix for, for uh, people who are new to the project. So if you combine the search for design and starter issues, that's the perfect way to get involved into design issues. So uh, let's see some of the cool things that we did uh, yeah, during or for the last uh, release or during last year. And uh, I will just basically yeah, showcase a few things or yeah, the main things uh, that, that we worked on. So first one uh, by Julius here um, is the responsive app menu. So basically uh, before you see the, the, the bar on the top, how it was before, people didn't really know actually that we had multiple apps. So they didn't necessarily know about contacts or calendar or whatever. So we just basically made apps a first class citizen. And uh, yeah, we uh, had this, uh, this app by Julius called Direct Menu and we worked together to make it into the core app. So with Nextcloud 12 that is uh, in the core and it's also responsive now. So it's uh, when, you, when you scale it down uh, to mobile, it will just show as many apps as there's space for, and all the app, other apps are in the drop down. So that's pretty cool. And I, uh, on all these issues, I included the, the issue numbers. So if you want to look them up and see the design discussion and how we do stuff, you can, you can do that. And that's a pretty good example of how we work developers and designers together on GitHub. Second one is adding the quota to the files view. Uh, thanks to Joas and Morris also, um, we now have a nice quota view uh, in the files, so you always directly see how much you use. Another thing made by Andreas, I don't think he's here today, but uh, thanks a lot Andreas uh, for cleaning up the personal settings page, uh, making the layout a bit nicer, um, making it nice in columns and um, yeah, enhancing the, the view, how you can see where the, you can change the privacy settings. And another very recent thing, it's not even in Nextcloud 12 yet, uh, is made by Marin, uh, redesigning the jQuery UI date picker. So basically, I just made a mock-up of how it should look like, and then he very quickly implemented it, and that's now across yeah, all the apps where we use a date picker. So the DAC app, the calendar app, the files app for, for um, expiration date, and yeah, that's pretty, a pretty impressive change from like the old jQuery UI st uh, style to a nice Nextcloud style. Then, of course, Paolo, uh, who basically yeah, designed the whole website, who does pretty awesome illustrations and animations. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of thanks for that. And then the context menu that you saw before already uh, in Ivan's talk, for example, for video calls. Um, it's in the top right, so you can search through your contacts, uh, through the users on the, on the next cloud, and you can start video calls with them, you can email them, and yeah, you can interact with them quickly from anywhere inside Nextcloud. And thanks to Christoph for that. 
And a uh, similar thing uh, done by Georg, it's the contacts popover, which everywhere where you see an avatar in Nextcloud, um, you can just click on it, and then you see a little menu with uh, contacting options. So if you want to mail Morris, then you just click on his face, and then very easily you can mail or video call him. And uh, thanks to Arthur, uh, we unified the settings, personal and administration, just into one because, yeah, they were separated. It, it was really confusing sometimes where you had to go, so now it's just unified. And uh, another cameo by another uh, design thing is, of course, the theming, uh, which was also mostly done by Julius. So, yeah, very simple theming. But, yeah, you probably know that already. We had that for quite some time, and that's pretty cool. Then apps are tabular now, so if you go into the apps, you directly see a list of all the installed apps. And before, it was, uh, uh, it was very, very difficult to, to see like, all the list of apps, and now it's all the apps which are, which are uh, enabled and all the apps which are also on the server. So you can directly enable them, and you can directly search through all of them, so that's much simpler now. And that's done by Felix. And then a very big part, which is done by well, whom we know as SKJNLDSV. Uh, <laughs> so uh, John um, is the switch to SCSS, and that's actually was a huge, huge task. And uh, yeah, thanks so much to him uh, for doing that. And uh, you see, there were a lot of issues. And actually, this is not all of them. It's only half or a third of the list. So we're now using SCSS, and it's pretty seamless. You don't need to compile it or anything. It's all, uh, all done by PHP. And you get all the benefits of variables, for example, and we, we um, don't uh, duplicate stuff that much, so that's pretty, pretty great. And then, also, it's about the details. So, for example, you probably were annoyed by the login spinner, uh, that it was pretty pixelated and giffy, so that is now fixed, uh, thanks to Dan, um, by replacing the gif with the pure CSS loading spinner that we have used. So, we also care about the details, that's very important. So, yeah. Uh, then let's, uh, yeah, I mean, let's hear a round of applause for everyone who worked on that first. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of things uh, which are work in progress and where you can get involved if you're a designer or also if you're a JavaScript developer or otherwise if you are interested in getting them done. One thing is the option to copy files. So now we, that we have the move already, uh, it would be cool, or people are, are saying, ah, it would also be cool to copy the files, and that's currently not possible. And yeah, we have like the clipboard app, for example, and it would be nice to integrate it even better. So the thought would be, and you see the issue number here, so you can look it up, and that's basically the mock-up for it, that we change the entry from move to move or copy, and in the dialog, we just show two buttons, one, move to the folder, move to documents, for example, and next to it, copy to it. So that's pretty simple, um, a pretty small change, and uh, yeah, you're welcome to, to contribute here. Another thing is uh, that we just started uh, in, a, in a small way, I just hacked away uh, and uh, uh, tried a bit uh, not, uh, not messing up JavaScript and PHP too much. So showing the avatar uh, instead of just the username for shared files and generally introducing the avatars more into the whole interface uh, and yeah, making you see your friends more, which is always uh, cool, I guess. And uh, then uh, we, can, we can show it there. We can also, for example, add the, this, this call menu and other things. But yeah, it's a work in progress right now. Uh, check out the issue and uh, join if you like. And another thing, and intentionally I'm using a super outdated mockup uh, and screenshot because that's already been around for some time. And uh, what we finally want to do is when you have in the sidebar uh, the, the activity, comments, and versions uh, list, which are all three chronological lists, we want to merge them into one timeline, so yeah, it's all in one place, and you can, from the history, uh, restore versions, you can comment on specific versions, or you can just comment, and you see it in one nice chronological view. So that's a, a bit bigger task, though, that's why it's taking a bit longer. So um, please join if you can and want. And also, yeah, help out other apps, like, for example, the Contacts app or the Maps app, or the Bookmarks app, or Audio Player, as we heard. And I guess there's a few app developers out here who would like some design help. So, yeah. And there's a design discussion this afternoon. Uh, that's the workshop advertisement. So, thanks a lot. <laughs>